So guys, today I bring you great and horrifying information about one of my favorite NFT projects of all time. That's right, Tales of the Crypto, made by two of my good buds from across the pond. Top of the morning to you, governor. They've been pumping out quality, quality NFTs from day one. Really nice art, really fun art, really great blends, really creepy blends, really scary blends, really terrifying things that are amazing to collect. But now, the news is, in just a few days, you're going to be able to get involved in the battle of what is necrotic warfare. That's right, Tales of the Crypto will have their game be released in just a few days, but before that, there will be drops that will get you prepared for the battle. I'm here to tell you all about those drops. If it was me, which it is me, I'm me, I'm getting involved as soon as I can with these guys. These guys are awesome. They put Crypto Jitsu on an NFT, and then Crypto Jitsu put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> Come along down the creepy path. Let me tell you all about it. But make sure you subscribe and hit that bell, okay? Thanks. Oh, hey, and guys, before we get started, here's some good news. Somewhere in this video, I'm going to talk about giving away NFTs. I'll tell you how to do it. You can get free NFTs by watching this video. But when I mention that to Boone and Pulp of Tales of the Crypto, they wanted to give some stuff away too. So I'm giving away some stuff from Tales of the Crypto, and they're giving away some stuff from Tales of the Crypto. Stuff that you will use for the game is being given away by people that watch this video. So watch it all the way through. Pay attention. Listen to what I'm saying, okay? So guys, for those of you that don't know Tales of the Crypto, let's get started. Tales of the Crypto, Crypto Deads, and the Chaotic Warfare, it's all the same thing. It's a great project, zombie-inspired project. Uh, their introduction says uh, it's an undead NFT collection uh, and game full of utility. The game is starting very soon. Uh, you can get some zombie celebrity portraits like Crypto Jitsu, not really a celebrity, but uh, let me see. I think I've got some of my collection here. Yeah, I've got Killary, Clinton, uh, Vlad, um, Steve Butcher, you know, some really cool stuff. They're, they're doing uh, 12 days of uh, Zomnus where you get the 12 pieces of Santa and you can blend him. That's actually tonight, the 12th one drops tonight so a little late for this information for you guys but when you blend it uh you blend to santa all these are going to start making they're going to start staking rads which is part of their game i'm going to go into here in a minute but yeah just owning this collection is very valuable you can get one of me of course which is kind of cool and, and if you hit me up on uh on discord first five people that discord me crypto jitsu no just crypto jitsu look me up on discord hit me up first five people hit me up i'm going to give you one of these um because they gave me a few to pass out because they're awesome used to have like little pieces that you could put together too. I think that while well, they're still out there, you can get all these things out there on the market. And um, yeah, just by owning the collection though, you get staking in other projects like War Saken, like Wax Arena, like NFT Battle Miners. Man, this is, it's a great project. And now we begin with the game. You can go to talesofthecrypto.co, that's their website, and you can get some ideas of how, they, these are actually screenshots of what the game's going to look like. It's very retro. You're going to have three tribes. You're going to earn, uh, be able to earn rads by owning some of the collection. So uh, there's a whole great uh, backstory and lore about what happened, how we got in this situation. There's Boone and Pulp. Love them. Great guys. Uh, Jaded. Slick Sheep. And then you got the backstory, basically, of what happened and, and, and how we got started. I don't really want to ruin the lore for you guys, but it all started with a mushroom. And mushrooms actually produce um, rads, radiation that, that you'll use in the game if in one of your three factions to go out and to raid and to try to get NFTs and to get the ZOM token. So ZOM, Z-O-M-B, is their token. Um, that's currently that currently exists on on their uh, in their project right now, but they're opening up rads R A D S. And so right now, if you can go if you go out and you can get a piece of Santa somehow, uh, you can get some rads. The Santa pieces provide rads, and the rads are gonna start I think tonight. Let me see. Pulp just talked about that today. Yeah, today at 20, 20 uh, hundred uh, UTC time, which could be now. I don't know what UTC time is. It's eleven forty six. Uh, it's Tennessee time. So. Uh, today uh today it's today time uh and yeah yeah so we could be staking right now with the rats if you got pieces of santa claus uh if you put him together and make a make zombie claws sorry you get more rads and this the staking is starting right now well shoot staking went live right when i was making this video so let's see this i i was log i logged in um and we can stake your assets will not leave you can claim claim or claim and you can purchase assets oh.
All right, so here we go. We got our Santa parts, which we can, which can be staked. Um, we got some other stuff like uh, our things from before that can be staked. I'm gonna stake it, stake all, stake it all, man. Boom! This is awesome, guys. This is great. We are staked. We are staking, uh, staking a heart. Get it? Cause that's like a horror theme. There's some crypto jitsus. Some of my other things. Yeah, buddy. They're staked. So come back and we'll claim them tomorrow. I don't think I can claim yet. I just staked. Let's see. Nothing to claim, y'all. Guys, staking is live. This is so awesome. But if you don't have pieces of Santa Claus and you want to get involved, here's our timeline, guys. Uh, there's They're opening up... Uh, three sales for their extractor packs check out these extractor packs they're so cool where they go where to go where to go boom so i'm sure there'll be different sizes of packs you're going to get uh you know different rarities i'm assuming i'm going to check all that here in a second but you get the mushrooms that start earning you rads that you'll use in game uh to uh, go out and attack one of the other factions so you've got three factions right you've got the hunters which are the humans that haven't been affected you've got the zombies uh which are zombies and then you've got the reborn which i think is so cool it's like zombies who kind of healed a little bit and kind of got their humanity back basically you got l30s which are zombies and we have uh some medical science going on that uh, is trying to heal these people somehow and it didn't work mostly but then they found uh that if they stuck this one um type of medicine or whatever uh, into primates they would actually come back and it was very cool and everyone rejoiced for where they had the answer and then they began to disseminate thousands of packs of wild roaming zombies were uh, were, were inoculated using uh, gas canisters um, and they came back but not all the way they kind of 75% uh, of the zombies were converted but not to their pre exposure condition they had become something else something unprecedented the reborn intelligent agile but plagued with amnesia very cool i get again i don't want to you need to come here and read all of this uh lore it's super super awesome but yeah that's your factions hunters zombies reborn here's a screenshot of what it will probably look like uh, the, the main screen of the shop you've got you got your rads you got your zoms uh there's all kinds of stuff i'll get more into that here in a second Oh, and there will be profit sharing, which is kind of like ownership, so that every time uh, someone raids throughout the day, uh, you're going to get a percentage as an owner. You get to go on one free mission per day. You'll get the you'll get your character, which is you know kind of like Alien Worlds, where you get a free NFT to your character. As we can see up here, you're going to have you have weapons, so there'll be weapons you can take with you. There's certain types of weapons based on your. You can only take the type of weapon for your uh, faction. Faction. They also got character packs coming soon, which that'll be your characters, and I think that will some characters will be a little better than others. I believe it could be wrong. Uh, and then weapons. There's your weapon packs. Those are coming. Uh, this is all coming in January, um, and yeah, as these come out, you're starting to start building all of the stuff you need to play the game. This will all be out in January, so that I believe in January ish, so that the game can uh, go live in February at some point in February. There will be commanders uh, that will be above the battle that will kind of uh, probably blendable and uh, there will be various rarities and it will help in some way. So there's just so much detail here. Yeah, okay, so here's your dates. Uh, Legacy, December 29th. This is how you can get an extractor pack, which will get you the rads that you need to start playing the game. Legacy are those who are level 10 on their Discord channel. Um, also on the 29th, though, they're dropping a whitelist NFT that you can grab, which will get you on the whitelist for January 6th. I believe if you're Legacy, you're also on the whitelist for January 6th. And then, of course, the public is January 7th. These are the extractor packs. This is level one. The character packs are coming later, and then the weapon packs are coming after that. Gameplay is kind of like paper, rock, scissors. Like when you go out, you get to choose uh, what, you know, depending on the faction, you get to choose who you want to attack. You might attack uh, a faction that you're not really good at. Let's say um, the zombie uh, might attack the reborn, even though the reborn is better than the zombie, instead of the hunter to, at, for a chance of getting a better NFT. So you're going to be going out there. You're going to be trying to get ZOM tokens. You're going to be trying to get NFTs. You're going to be spending rads to go on more missions than your free one per day. You're going to use weapons to to get better things, get better rarities. You can use the zombs uh, to buy stuff. So the zombs will be used to buy things in the uh, in the store, uh, character upgrade packs, equipment packs, that kind of thing. Uh, here's the again, here's the shop. I love the art. 
here's a, here's how you get those pack sales, uh, how you get on the white list, how you get on the legacy, uh, how you get to the public, which uh, you have to be public, the public, um, pretty hard. And guys, on their white paper, they talk about profit sharing, how to land LP rewards. Uh, they get more in depth with how the staking works, seasonal gameplay. Here's your extraction uh, pack percentages. So guys, I think that's all the major information I wanted to get to you today. Uh, the game is coming out. It's going to be awesome. I have full confidence in this project. That's it for me, guys. Take it easy. Have a Merry Christmas. Uh, go uh, get some of Santa's parts and make him into a zombie. That could be fun. Capiche.